Let's look at how we can sculpt some cool stylized trees and wood in Blender. Now, right out of the gate, I'm gonna say that there are plenty of great asset packs out there with kind of wood fibers and wood knots that you can just go ahead and draw mode and drag and drop on your objects, making it much easier to use, which is what I use in my main production pipeline. But let's look at how we can do some of this ourselves for free. If you wanna check out this project file for reference, I'm giving it away for free, so I'll show you where to get that at the end of the video. Now, we're just gonna start with a little wooden log, so let's go ahead, add a cylinder to our scene here, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into sculpt mode, and we'll remesh this so that we get a lot more topology. Now, depending on how low poly your cylinder was, you're likely to get these kind of flat lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab the smooth brush and begin working out some of these lines. Next up, what we're gonna do is grab this clay stripes brush up here, and then we're just gonna move up and down vertically around our log so that we can create kind of this bark-like motion. Next up, what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead, grab the scrape brush here, and then we're gonna use this to kind of obliterate any angles that we have on our base model, whatever shape you started with. And you can see that if you scrape around here on the edges, it's gonna give it that kind of like worn down wooden look. Next up, let's add some detail. There's a couple brushes we can use for that. First, I recommend using the draw brush. When we grab the draw brush, we can set it to a small radius and draw in details on our log, but we want it to indent like fiber. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hold control, and then we can begin drawing in details on our object. Now, when you look at fibers or bark in a tree, you'll notice that it all moves in one direction. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're going to start drawing lines in here vertically. And I think the easiest way to do this is to start by drawing long strokes all randomly across your object here, and then going back through and trying to break it up visually with some kind of medium sized strokes. And then finally another pass with just a few tiny strokes. I'd add in a spiral or two just for a little bit of stylistic flair. And with that, we have a sculpted piece of wood in Blender. So as I mentioned before, this project file is free. I will link that below. I give it away on Gumroad. So feel free to check it out and use it as reference.